this um, video is going to be on chapter 8 and we're going to be talking about exception handling and we're going to work with a previous assignment we did in chapter 3 and this assignment is net pay this was the program we wrote that would collect how many hours you worked and how much you got paid per hour and tell you uh, what your gross wages would be and how much you'd have to pay in taxes and based on how much you made it would calculate either 10 or 20 percent tax. Um, so what we're going to do is because we took uh, we were looking for numeric inputs if you put in bad information it'd give you an error so let's go ahead and run it quick just a refresh on how this program works it would uh, run say calculate your weekly earnings and uh, do 15 point four dollars an hour and we worked uh, 40 and there was our output. Now if we run it one more time and we give it bad data and we go okay I'm going to get 23 dot dot and it's not a number so it just says input mismatch exception and it crashes the program. But we want to check our input and if the input is bad make the user or have the user re-enter the input. And so the way to do that is uh, there's you can try writing a try catch statement right in your code, but it's usually easier to pass it off to method because then you can return to the same place in your code. So I'm going to create a method quick that's just going to be a, a checker that's going to check. Uh, it's going to take a, a double for an input and uh, it's going to check and return uh, just a boolean value if the uh, input is bad. So, okay, and I'm going to take a string for an input, and I'm going to return a boolean. So, I'm going to want the first thing I'm going to do is put a uh, Create a uh, uh, let's go ahead and make it equal to true. Let's also create a double here because we're taking and we're going to convert it to a double so it's going to create a double and we're ready to try it and what we're going to do is we're going to just take that string that we have coming in and uh, try to convert it to a, we're going to try to parse it into a double. Okay, now if that string isn't a double, it's going to have an exception. It's going to say, hey, it's going to throw an error. And so here's where we're going to catch that error. And uh, when it's an error, it's going to catch that error, and then it's going to go ahead and change the uh, boolean value, and then. It's going to return that boolean value and send it out to uh, return it to the calling method. So we've created a little method. It's going to take a string for an input. It's going to check. It's going to try to convert that string to a double. And if it has an error, it's going to throw an exception. And if it throws an exception, then it's going to change the out bool to false. 
and return false. Otherwise, if it doesn't throw an exception, it's going to return true. And it doesn't do anything with this temp double that dies at the end of the uh, method, so we're good there. So how we're going to use that method up in the program? Well, when we get our input, we have uh, calculate your weekly earnings. Please enter your hourly wage. So what we want to do here now is we really want to create a loop statement so that um, if the if the somebody puts in bad information, it's going to go back and ask for the information again. So to do that, we can just do a do statement because we want it to ask for input right away. So we'll go ahead and enter the hourly wage, and uh, we're going to change the input from a input next next double to input string. So that would be next line, and so we're going to want to catch a string here. So let's go ahead and we'll. Uh, use the hourly wage later here. But we're going to want to create a string to catch that input. And so let's go ahead and we'll just do this uh, input string. And we'll uh, go ahead and declare it up here since we're using it up here. So we're going to do here. We're going to have the input input string is going to collect the input from the uh, the next line there, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to check it. So we want to get a boolean value. So let's go ahead and create some boolean variables up here to use. Um, and we'll just set that equal to what. set that equal to true and uh, so let's go ahead and do that test here I'm going to pass this string to the method we created and it's going to return a boolean value, true or false. And then here we're going to test and see if it's not true, if it's false. We're going to want to loop back and, and uh, do it again, right? We ask the questions. Um, And then we can finish our do statement here. And we're going to do all that while uh, if the wage error is false. So. Okay, if it's true, then we want to take the hourly wage and we're going to convert that. So. Um, and convert that string to the uh, double here, so. Okay. So we have no errors. Let's take a look at this. Uh, real quick, uh, it's come the, it's going to print the opening message. It's going to come to the do statement. It's going to hit go ahead and do it once. It's going to say enter the hourly wage. Uh, the input string, we're basically going to take what comes in and put it into a string instead of doing next double. We're going to check that string to see if it is a valid string that can be converted. 
And if it can, um, this is the wage error is going to return um, true, that it is a good, uh, good entry, or false, it's not, it can't be converted to double. Um, if it's false, we want to print out, please print a valid number, and it's going to loop back and go right back to the do statement saying enter an hourly wage. Um, so there. If it's true, if uh, wage error is true, then it skips right down to hourly wage, parts double, and it continues on. And we'll go ahead and do that for the hours worked. We can do the same thing for the hours worked. Let's save that, run it, make sure we didn't have any errors in our logic here. And, okay, so let's put a good valid uh, amount in. And so that works. So we worked a lot of hours. The program works that way. Let's go ahead and run it and give it some bad data. Okay, and then let's do the one, two, dot, dot, three, four. Please enter a valid number. Uh, please enter a valid number. And enter the hours worked. Okay, and so there we have it. So what we have here is we did a real simple check for a double. We still have a problem now. We've caught the uh, exceptions on this, and if we run this, we can put a negative number in there. Well, what if we said, well, we don't want uh, negative numbers to to be accepted here? We can actually create an exception for that of our own, and we can do that right in our uh, the method here. So in the method, we could say, okay, let's create some code here. Let's store an exception whenever there is a, uh, uh, a value that's less than or equal to zero. zero. Okay, now Java already has program programmed into it that um, uh, strings that won't convert to a double will throw an exception, but we can create our own exception here. So we can say, okay, if the value is zero, and we can use our um, temp double here, because uh, if it's good, we should, uh, if, if it's a good value, um, it, uh, if it converts to double, then we can say, okay, now it'll, it'll uh, analyze this and treat it as a double. And so if it, it is a double, but it's less than or equal to zero, my typewriter keyboard here would work, then we could throw a new illegal, uh, new exception, or illegal argument. Let's run that together. It does like that better that way. Okay, so we're going to throw a new illegal argument exception. So now we now we are going to throw an argument, um, or throw an error, uh, return false when it's um, when it's not a double, but it's going to if it's uh, less than zero, it's still going to throw a, another illegal argument exception. And it's going to get caught here and return a boolean false. So let's go ahead and uh, save that and run it. And this time let's try to put a negative number in there again. And it says please enter valid number. So we've taken and we've created our own exception now. Even though negative 12 is a, a valid double value, we've created our own exception in our little method to uh, throw, our own, throw our own exception there. So we can enter 12, and our program works. And we can do the same thing with the uh, the number of hours worked. We can make that make sure that's an integer value. Make sure that it's we could set up parameters on that, and also make sure that it's a, a valid uh, number.